It's not something any of us want to think about, but it's a regular part of life. How's it hanging, death? Eventually, we all pass away. If you're dying to know what happens, well, in this episode, we'll go into all the gory details. It's a Mr. Death or something. He's come about the reaping. Does your hair grow after death? And why do you get a sudden burst of energy before you die? This is your body on what happens when you die. Dying a natural death can be a slow process that can take days, weeks, or even months. You might have a near-death experience as things progress. This could involve an out-of-body experience, seeing a bright light, or a sudden moment of clarity involving past events, even if you suffer from dementia. What might be the cause of your near-death experience? And what makes your muscles stiff after you die? Dying. As you approach death, your body begins to fail. Breathing can become difficult, and a lack of oxygen to your brain will make you sleepy. You'll have trouble thinking clearly. Your heart weakens and isn't able to pump as much blood through your body. This will cause your skin to pale. You won't have much of an appetite. Many people close to death refuse to eat or drink. And you may hallucinate due to an increased release of dimethyltryptamine, or DMT, into your system. This is the only psychedelic produced naturally in the body. Research suggests that near-death experiences, where you feel like you leave your body or see relatives that have already passed, may be attributed to this sudden release of DMT. You might also have a sudden burst of energy. This is known as terminal lucidity, and it can raise your alertness shortly before passing. No one knows why this happens. And although it only lasts a short time, it can give you and your loved ones some happy moments before the end comes. Or maybe it's to help you say your famous last words. I am invincible! Minutes after death. As you die, your brain activity will surge and then stop. You stop breathing and your heart stops beating. Your body temperature will drop about 0.9 degrees per hour until you reach room temperature. Without oxygen, your cells begin to die. Carbon dioxide builds up in your blood as cells begin to break down and leak in a process known as putrefaction. Decomposition begins about four minutes after you expire. Hours after death. Your muscles tense as calcium builds up. This is known as rigor mortis, which is Latin for stiffness of death. This will last about 36 hours, starting at your face and working down your body to your toes. When your muscles finally relax, your body will release any remaining feces or urine. But that's only if you were eating or drinking before dying. It looks like your hair and nails are growing, but they're not. It just seems that way. Your skin is actually drying out and shrinking. And your skin has also become splotchy and begins to sag, making your prominent joints more pronounced. Days after death. Ooh, do you ever stink? Your body is decaying and releasing chemicals that create that putrid smell. Enzymes in your organs start to digest themselves, making parts of you turn green. Weeks after death. Uh, now you've become a feast for bugs, and boy, do they find you yummy. Within a week, maggots will digest as much as 60% of your body. They certainly don't seem to mind that your hair is falling out and that you've turned purple and black. In about four months, under the right conditions, all that's left of you will be a skeleton. Have a nice trip! <laughs> now, to avoid decomposition, you could have yourself embalmed. 
but that isn't something that's done much anymore. Another option would be cryonics. Based on the science of cryogenics, cryonics can be used to preserve your body by freezing it in liquid nitrogen. Before freezing, your body is pumped full of a solution that works like antifreeze to keep your body's tissues from crystallizing. Although there's currently no way to safely defrost you, the idea is that at some point in the future, the technology will exist to not only revive you, but cure you of whatever killed you. Uh, but there's no guarantee that this will ever be possible. Thankfully, you're still here with us, watching this, but what would happen if you were buried alive? Well, we'll dig into that one on another episode of Your Body On.